Wouldn't it be great if you had a personal assistant to help you organize your life? Everything from meal planning to creating an exercise routine to making better coffee. Well, thanks to the power of artificial intelligence or AI, you can do just that. Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Meyer. This is 5-Minute AI, where we help you integrate AI into your life in five minutes or less. Today, we're going to talk about ChatGPT as a personal assistant for your personal life. ChatGPT is free to use, so we're just going to dive into this single tool. And by the end, you're going to learn how to organize ChatGPT. You're going to learn how to give it a personality. And you're going to learn some good use cases to help improve your life using ChatGPT. So let's dive in. Now, ChatGPT, what is it? It is a generative pre-trained transformer. That's the GPT. Basically, what that means, it's a fancy term for someone who's going to answer questions for you or something, depending on how you think about it. So this isn't Google that's answering questions from pages on the internet. Instead, it's actually coming up with responses based on what you're asking. And you can actually influence or give it a personality or ask it to answer in ways that are most beneficial to you. So let's jump in and get started with the ChatGPT tool. So to start building with ChatGPT, just go over to chat.openai.com. There you'll create an account. Now, once you're in ChatGPT, you'll see the prompt bar, which is something that'll look really familiar. And the first thing you're going to want to do is just ask questions. But I want to show you a few tips on how to make the most out of ChatGPT. When you start a conversation or a chat, it'll actually keep that history and begin to answer in the way that it finds most useful for you. And so that means that you can actually personalize your ChatGPT instance. You can have multiple chats, and each chat has a different personality. So the first thing we're going to do is actually tell your ChatGPT how to respond. For example, here's a prompt that I like to use to put it in the right frame of mind. As you can see, I focus on answering succinctly, being, being cheerful, and giving information based on my personal context. Interestingly enough, when I first tell the chat how I wanted to respond, it gave me parenting advice. It felt very helpful, and I felt a little attacked, but it was a lot of fun. So anytime we want to talk to our ChatGPT with this persona, we can just click on the chat on the left-hand side, and we could create different personas. So if you want to have one in a business tone of voice, for example, when I create blog posts, I might have it write a certain way, versus when it's talking to a friend or coming up with ideas for our household. So now that we tell our ChatGPT how we want it to respond, we can start to ask questions. So for example, I asked this question about how to create the perfect coffee with my pour over, and you can see it gives an answer, and I can go further in depth and ask more additional questions. Now, there's a lot of ways that you can use this. I think some of the most powerful ways is to actually give it information about what's in your household and ask questions about it. So you can tell it what's in your fridge or pantry and come up with meal ideas. You can ask about meals that you want to cook, what maybe is the nutritional benefit of that. You could even give it a schedule of all your kids' events and have it create a list of driving times of where you need to go. Or you could even tell it what you're trying to do in terms of an exercise routine and have it create a blueprint for you. The ChatGPT can really be your personal assistant. And by giving it a personality, it'll answer in the way that you want and over time learn more and more about you so that you get the right answers for what you need exactly. Now, there's a lot of people talking about ChatGPT, but I think using it in your personal life as your own assistant is one of the easiest ways to leverage this technology to make your life just a little better. So as always, use the five-minute AI method. Try it, apply it, and amplify it. Give ChatGPT a test, then apply it to a question or problem you have in your life, and then share it out so that you can learn by teaching. By doing these three things, you'll get an understanding of what ChatGPT is and start saving time and getting some new ideas that you can use in your personal life. As always, leave a comment. Tell us what else you want us to dive into on 5-Minute AI. You can learn more and watch all the videos at 5min.ai. See you soon.